Hello, uh, greetings and good day to all. So today we are going to see a unit topic called as your engineering ethics from the course professional ethics. So the topics that we have planned for today's coverage is census of engineering ethics and variety of moral issues, types of inquiries, moral dilemma and moral autonomy. As of the thing census of ethics is about, ethics is always an activity and it's an area of inquiry. It is an activity for understanding the moral values, resolving moral values and area of study resulting from that activity. When we speak on some ethical problem, issues and controversy, we mean to discuss, distinguish them for non-moral problems. There are two types of problems. One is called as your moral problems and next one is called as your non-moral problems. Both in personal life and as well as in official life, both these problems may exist. Ethics is used to refer particular set of beliefs, attitudes and habit that a person or a group disp displays concerning moralities. Ethics and its grammatical variants can be used as a synonyms for morally correct activities. And what is a morality is concerned about? And what ought or ought not to be done in a given situation? What is right or wrong in handling any situation? And what is good or bad about the persons, policies and principles involved in it? If an action is said to be morally right, it should have some moral reason. Say, for example, if an employee is working for a concern. So, if a problem arises, then the employer will be having some safe corner about his employee and as well as the issue that had happened. Then the employer will take into account of the good activities and as well as the positive prospects of the employee and they will try to return, retain him. So that is the morality that is shown to the employee. The moral reasons include any, pers any person who should have these moral reasons that is respecting others and ourselves and respecting the right of others and you should keep up the promises anytime. If not, you should not promise anything and you want to avoid unnecessary problems to others and you should not create problems to others and avoid cheating and dishonesty. So if you cheat someone, on the same lane, someone will be there to cheat you back. And dishonesty is a worst habit that we should not develop, which, which is an immo immoral thing that we do. And showing gratitude to others and encourage them to work. And there are two varieties of moral issues. One is called as your microethics and next one is called as your macroethics. So microethics means it's for a single circle. Uh, it, it, it is called as a mission. But whereas macroethics is like a vision, microethics is the approach stress more about some typical and everyday problems that we face, which plays an important role in the field of engineering and in the profession of an engineer. But whereas as of macroethics is about this problem deals with all social problems, societal problems, which are known and suddenly burst out in a regional or national level. See, for example, this pandemic situation out of this COVID-19 is also a macroethical problem due to one nation and which has widely spread to other nations too, which causes everyone with, to, with burning amendments and burning, burning commands. Even now everyone is staying is aside in their homes and everyone is go, have got isolated. Engineering, de engineering development has been stopped to some extent and the software development is also playing an worst hinge as of now. Where and how do moral problems arise in engineering? In spite of engineer, full attention and care, sometimes the product or project may be unsafe or less useful. So for example, an engineer means it's not that only software professionals, it means the chemical engineering and it means the biomedical engineering, it means the electronics and communication engineering, whatsoever it may be. See, few biotechnology engineers will also be working in some pharma industries and everything. So, engineer is having its role in each and every profession on itself. So, the uh, engineers whomsoever work in any place, they have to be with full attention and care such that no problem has got arised and no issue has been escalated against the project to whom they are associated with. See, this may lead to... Uh, due to some reasons one is the project or project or product may be designed for early obsolescence see for example or to our significance we may be doing some failure fail, these are some failure activities due to 
under pressure because of running out of time and budgetary and by ignorance of size of the project and because of the large number of products sold on the market because people may get affected say for example for this fourth point see for example a pro if a company company a is launching a product that product in the name of the product or the that type of product is already in the market which has been served by few other companies called as your x y and z they have a good market because of the quality and rapport that they have maintained okay so if the if we want to develop our own product in a better way means we should release it with a better effectiveness and we should give more and more good ideas and good prospects to the product such that it may get it get the market and it can sweep out the market of others and the product or project may be designed for early excellence means see for example a product or project is planned means it should be planned after the development it needs some testing and finally after testing it can be released and sometimes few engineers may fail to take a, take the testing time into uh, into their project and such that that may re reach out in the failure of the project and budget and as well as the size of the project will also be taken care there are three types of inquiry as of is one is normative inquiries second one is conceptual inquiries and third one is factual or descriptive inquiries this inquiry means the investigation that we carry out on any problems engineering ethics involves investigation into values meaning and facts now we may look into the normative inquiries see normative inquiries is identifying and justifying some norms or standards of morally desirable nature for guiding individual as well as groups normative inquiries can be used for individuals and as well as groups so there are four headings under which this normative inquiry can be questioned how do obligations of an engineer protect the public safety in given situations when should an engineer have to alarm their employees on dangerous practices and where are the laws and organizational procedures that affect engineering practice on a moral issue and where are the moral rights essential for engineers to fulfill their professional obligations and conceptual inquiries the conceptual inquiries means describing the meaning of the concepts principles and issue related to engineering ethics there are also four points exist four wh questions what is the safety and how it is related to risk and what does it mean when codes of engineering ethics say engineers should protect the safety health and welfare of the public and what is a bribe and what is a profession and professional a profession is the job which entitled to a particular person and the professional is with the character and as well as immigrants that they develop this subject professional ethics is studied by everyone to build a better character because character is going to embark a good life for everyone character is the life of every person factual and descriptive factual or descriptive inquiries these help to provide facts for understanding and finding solutions to value based issues the engineer has to conduct factual inquiries by using scientific techniques for example a person an engineer who is working in a software company he is leading a group of people then what we can do is using some scientific techniques means see for example a project has been assigned to an x or y means then he can have a control of the project the transparency of the project could be maintained by using some elo gates and as well as bitrix these are a few softwares in which the employees who work on that project used to post their updates and as well as the timeline for the completion of everything as an engineer we should be smart enough to track the progress of the project and that shows our personification and involvement in the project this helps to provide information regarding the business realities such as engineering practice history of engineering profession and effectiveness of professional societies and the procedures to be adopted when assigning risk and psychological profiles of the engineers moral dilemma why to study the engineering ethics and why moral dilemma is exist engineering ethics is not only teaches the moral behavior in knowing about moral and immoral things but also in a, but also increases the ability of engineers and other professionals to face boldly with the moral problems arising from the technological advancements changes and other related activities 
dilemmas are certain kind of situations in which a difficult choice has to be made for example say for example we have been posted with an question we may not have a constant answer say for example if they are, someone is asking to state a law means that will be having only one answer but where the statement will be only one answer but whereas if a situation has been given assertion and reason type is given assertion means assertion can have multiple reason outs like that each and everything will be having two to more ideas moral dilemma dilemmas have two or more foldings more obligations duties rights goods or ideals come into disagreement with each other one more principle can have two or more conflicting applications for a particular given situation types of complexities there are three types of complexities one is vagueness and second one is conflicting reasons and third one is called as your disagreement the disagreement means when more than one people is involved into a uh, suggestion or uh, they are they have been dealt to take some decisions means then there exists an disagreement between them when more than one people is there they can't reach to a particular note point there will be few future opinions and as well as some conflicting opinions also and if someone is not having a good uh, uh, run around what the project is or what the situation is they will give a uh, vast commands so vagueness in tamil it's called as telivatra and conflicting reasons is muranbadana uh, karanangal and disagreement is karthu verubada steps or procedures in facing moral dilemma identify the relevant moral factors and reasons finding the solutions for conflicting responsibilities competing rights and clashing ideals involved and collecting and gathering all the available facts which are relevant to the moral factors while resolving rank the moral considerations or principles on the basis of important as applicable to the situation means if we face any moral dilemma then these are a few steps here in, in this slide three steps has been given which should be used and three other statement is also there or there that also should be taken into account to achieve the final statement final concluding statement that means we have to take the relevant moral factors and we have to collect and gather possible facts and we have to rank the moral considerations and considering alternative course of actions for resolving the problems and tracing the full implications having talked with the colleagues or friends to get an idea of that and arriving at a careful and reasonable judgment or solution by taking into consideration of all the before discussed five points moral autonomy autonomy means self governance so moral autonomy means when we are flinging into the moral principles rightly our idea won't go back, go wrong so autonomy means self governing or self determining and it's the soul of act independently moral autonomy means the right or the wrong conduct which is independent of ethical issues moral autonomy is concerned with independent attitude of a person related to ethical issues see for anyone who is in the decision authority his attitude should be in a proper way generally if a attitude of a person is poor then the decisions that he or she takes may not be in a correct way it helps to improve the self determination among the individuals and there are few skills for improving the moral autonomy they are ability to distinguish and relate these moral problems and possess a skill of understanding clarifying and assessing the arguments an ability to suggest the solution to moral issues must have an imaginative skill to view the problems in a different angle and ability to tolerate while giving moral judgments and decisions and we you should be like the mid level of an balance and there are few other skills for improving the moral autonomy are must have an adequate knowledge and understanding about the use of ethical language 